Hey folks, you've heard me say how important I think studying sundials is. Well, today we're going to construct a sundial, a simple horizontal sundial, out of some scrap material I have laying around. The idea of this uh, design is so that it can collapse and be portable, so it can be outside and I can set it up wherever I'm doing ritual uh, outside and it can stand the weather and that kind of thing. So the first component of it is, well I can't remember what it's called, but it's the, it's the triangular blade thing that comes out of the top of it, right? Um, and uh, this, this is a piece of a DVD cover that I found uh, just like on the side of the street. Um, but it's, it's a nice thick plastic, it's a heavy duty plastic, and it's got this edge here, see right here, this is the edge, and my idea is that this will go into a slot in a piece of wood, and maybe screw it in on the edge or something, so this will be sticking out, and that'll be the edge that we, uh, we use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a section of it. Okay, now here's what I did. I had printed out a protractor and I measured out 30 degrees which is where uh, I live at uh, uh, 30 degrees north um, latitude. Then I took my piece, this is, I found out what the word is, gnomon. This is going to be the gnomon. Alright, so see I took that right there and measured it out and it's like right on the line there. So that's, that's the angle that I need for my gnomon. Okay, so take my snippers here. Very carefully cut. All right, so now we've got our gnomon uh, right there. Okay. Now the next part we're going to need is the base, and this is what I scrounged up for the base. This is a blade from uh, from an old fan, ceiling old ceiling fan. So I took it off. It's it's like it's thick but not too thick. I think it'll make a pretty good base. Alright, so let's see what I can do with this real quick. Now this is a protractor. It's a, a printed out a new protractor thing. Um, here is the base plate that we're going to use. This is my gnomon. Remember the gnomon? This angle here between horizontal and up to here this angle is 30 degrees on my gnomon because I live at 30 degrees latitude. So the gnomon is cut and is ready to go. It slides in place. I've already I did some work with my Dremel tool so that so that it just kind of like locks into place there. And so that's gonna be that's basically it. Now if I draw a line straight up the middle here. Uh, that'll be 12 noon. And if I just want to use this for uh, ritual purposes to mark solar noon, that will do the trick. That's all I would need. I just need to line this up with with north, with true north, not magnetic north, although it happens to be the same thing where I live. Um, and then when that line hits the noon, that's, that's true noon. Uh, sort of, actually that's just true four times out of the year but because of axial tilt uh, but anyway it's close enough uh, for my purposes anyway now but what about the other hours one two three four five six well six o'clock will be straight across the bottom here so that's not gonna matter now the, the other angles it if we were on the North Pole these angles would and this was flat the angles would all be 15 degrees because there are 12 of them from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's evenly spaced 15 degrees uh, but we're not um, and so if this is going to be horizontal on the ground that's going to change those angles and 
the formula, the angle that you're going to use here, um, so instead of 15, if this is 0 and this is 1 o'clock would normally be 15 degrees, um, what you do is you take the tangent of 15 degrees, multiply it for 1 o'clock, let's say, tangent of 15 degrees, multiply it by the sine of the angle of your latitude, and then whatever number you get there, you take, you, you, is the, is the tangent, so you take the arc tangent of that number, and that will give you the proper degrees. I've already done the math, see here's, I don't know if you can read this or not, but I already did the math for my calculations here. 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You only need to do this on one side because it's going to be the mirror image on the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is always going to be 90 degrees. Um, so the after you do all the calculations, it's still 90 degrees. 6 o'clock is going to be straight across. Uh, all these other ones, 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60, 75 degrees. Doing this, calc doing this calculation here, um, took the, the tangent of this number, multiplied it by the sine of 30 degrees, uh, which is 0.5. So basically we took half of the tangent. Um, and then that gives us the tangent of the angle that we, that we want to write out. So I took the arc tangent, and that's the number that I come up with here. So what I'm going to do now is mark this out with where the angles go and take it from there. Alright, you see I'm marking it out here. Um, 3 o'clock was 26 and a half. Uh, I've already did this, it was like 7 and a half, uh, 16 degrees, 26 and a half. So now I'm doing 26 and a half this way, that's uh, 10, 20. Okay, there we are. Now I've drawn out the lines for each of the degrees. Now we'll take my sundial put it together now what's important a couple of things first gotta make sure it locks in there okay first of all make sure that the very point end of the um, of the gnomon is what you're using to line that up with so so instead of you see the degrees come from that point right there. So instead of like lining it up right here, the edge of this block, I have to move it up to here, which is the edge of the gnomon. Okay. Voila. There it is. Put in the gnomon. And there is my sundial. It so happens that this time of year, uh, there's going to be about a 15 minute uh, deviation from the actual time. Um, and if we look at the clock, the clock is saying right on 2 o'clock. My watch is saying 146. This, uh, this is a simple horizontal sundial which will work reasonably well. I mean, keeping time within 15 minutes when you're out in the wild is is um you know it's pretty good it's good enough so uh there you have it there's my portable sundial there you go